Hello and welcome to the first video on Scientific Lee 2. Today we're going to be talking about a string theory for the Sun um, which was introduced or spoken of by the Thunderbolts project back in 2008. This video uh, is to show that that theory is true and confirmed with magnetic fields that magnetic fields create suns on a string. Well, let's read the theory. A string theory for the sun. Filamentary Birkeland currents transport electrical energy from the sun to earth and the rest of the solar system. Could ancient human beings have seen this phenomena visible in their skies? The auroras are caused by an intermittent bombardment of charged particles which travel from the sun to the earth's ionosphere in a stream called the solar wind. This was first proposed in the early 20th century by the Norwegian plasma physicist Christian Birkeland and is now universally accepted. In honour of this pioneer, the exact conduits through which ions reach the earth are called Birkeland currents. The existence of these twisted filamentary bundles of magnetic fields that transport ions through space along their length was only empirically confirmed in 2007, when NASA's fleet of Themis spacecraft announced to have detected giant magnetic ropes that connect Earth's upper atmosphere to the Sun in the Earth's magnetopores. Solar wind particles are believed to flow along these ropes, providing energy for geomagnetic storms and auroras. To put it bluntly, modern scientists have found that the Sun has an electric plasma connection that tapers towards the Earth's magnetic poles and causes electromagnetic storms. Curiously, ancient mythical and cosmological traditions have long anticipated the discovery of the solar wind and its Birkeland currents when they spoke about ropes and strings tying the Earth to the Sun. In the mystical tradition of India, the three worlds, Earth, Air and Sky, are attached to the Sun by means of a string by which the Divas first strode up and down these worlds using the universal lights as their stepping stones. In a remarkable analogy to the modern comparison of this stream to a wind, Hindu sages affirmed, by the gale indeed, O Gautama, as by a thread, are this and yonder world and all beings strung together. Even as the thread of a gem might be threaded through a gem, even so is all this strung thereupon. To wit, Gandharfas, Apasareres, beasts and men, causing deity itself to declare, all this is strung on me, like rows of gems upon a thread. The sun does string these worlds to himself by the thread of the gale of the spirit. The identification of this sun pillar running through the three worlds with the polar axis of the universe makes good sense considering that the sun's charged particles stream into the Earth's ionosphere at the auroral ovals around the poles. If it may be granted that the Indian concept of this sun rope rooted in knowledge of the solar wind, the latter must at some point have revealed itself in an unmistakable visible form. Is it conceivable that, at some time during the earlier Holocene, extreme solar weather produced such excitation that the plasma in the solar wind entered a visible glow mode, if not arc mode? If so, a substantial segment of ancient Skylo that was hitherto obscure receives some much needed illumination. Many corners of the world bear witness to the theme of a hero's noosing of the sun. When the sun had formed in the sky, says the Bella Coola people of British Columbia, Canada, the creator connected it with the earth by means of a long rope, which kept the two at a measured distance from each other and prevented that the earth would sink into the ocean. While an earlier commentator, Richard Andre, deemed this notion Bermekenswert remarkable, he would never have imagined that such age-old folklore motifs could conceal some ephemeral observations of space that scientists are only now beginning to rediscover. And so the following videos that I'm uh, offering up show a magnetic field drawing in spheres of matter via Birkeland currents which obviously are coming out of a simple magnet. So to prove suns on a string theory I have merely put ferrofluid on top of glass on top of a magnet and allowed it to flow in slowly and when this is done 
it forms spheres of ferrofluid, thus proving on Earth with a simple experiment that Christian Birkeland was 100% correct when he spoke of Birkeland currents attaching the Earth to the Sun.